In a previous edit text tutorial, which was also in the shortest playlist, I covered some edit text attributes. In this tutorial, I'll be covering some more, such as how to change the maximum length of an edit text, make it single line or multi line, go to the next edit text on the page, as well as dismiss the enter key, uh, dismiss the edit uh, keyboard when the enter key is pressed. So I have a simple layout here, and you can go ahead and pause the video and copy this. I'm just going to add Android Center Horizontal and set that equal to true. But essentially, now what we're going to do is make some other changes to our edit text. One of the things I'm going to cover is setting the maximum length of an edit text. And that's really simple because all you have to say is Android max length. And then I'm going to set it equal to, say, 4. Okay. And that, this, what this will do is only allow the user to enter 4 characters. Another thing that I can do is say Android single line and set it equal to true or false. And, and in addition to setting it to true or false, if I did want to make my edit text multi-line, I could also set a maximum number of lines. So I'm going to say um, max lines and I could set that equal to something like four. And now I'm going to run this. So here's the app and it's finished running. You can see that I can only enter up to four characters. I'm trying to type more, but it's not working. Additionally, the maximum number of lines that I can have is four because even though I'm pressing the button, it's not entering more lines. So that now that we've finished that, setting the maximum length of our uh, edit text as well as the maximum number of lines, I'm just gonna set it um, to single line and say true. And now what we're going to cover is how to go from one edit text to the next. So I have two edit texts over here, this the first one and the second one. And what I want to do is when the user presses this enter button, I want to go to, immediately go to the second edit text. Additionally, when the user presses the enter button in the second edit text, I want to dismiss the keyboard. Right now, it's just entering new lines. So let's go ahead and code that. In order to do this, we have to go to our parent layout, which is going to be the relative layout in my case. And I'm just going to say Android clickable and set it equal to true. And I'm also going to say Android um, focusable in touch mode and set that to true. Now that I have that, what I'm going to do for my edit text, the first edit text to be specific, is say Android IME. Um, actually, I'm going to say Android focus forward. Um, next focus forward, sorry. And I'm going to provide the ID for my second edit text. So it's going to be edit2. And as the name suggests, what it's doing is when the user presses the enter key, it's going to change the focus and set the new focus on our second edit text. Similarly, for the second edit text, what I'm going to do is say Android IME options. I'm going to say action done. So when the user presses the enter key, it's going to treat it as an action done, which means it's going to dismiss the keyboard. So I have the app over here, and let me zoom in. And I'm going to type a message. Um, well, actually, it's a phone number because over here we specified that the input type was phone. I'm just going to type some text. And then I'm going to hit this blue button over here, the enter button. And you can see the focus automatically changed to our set again edit text. And the reason that happened was because of next focus forward. Now I'm going to just type some stuff here, like um, subscribe to subscribe. Oh, it looks like there's an error. It's, um, I'm not sure about that. But now I'm going to press this blue button, then next enter button, and it dismisses the keyboard. And there we have it. So in this edit text tutorial, you learned how to use some of the other attributes that the edit text has that are really useful, like maximum length and the maximum number of lines, as well as dismissing the keyboard automatically when the enter key is pressed or going to the next edit text. Please subscribe to stay tuned for future videos, and until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.